Hey family, this is Shannon Jackson, also known as the People's Nurse. Have you ever felt overwhelmed? I know I have. Stay tuned, we're going to talk about it. Wake up everybody, let's elevate your mind. Live your life without limits, no more wasting time. Don't forget to stay focused. Well, continue. Once again for joining us at living your life without limits today and today we're going to be discussing feeling overwhelmed but before we go any further make sure you click the subscribe button and also i want you to do me a favor if you have ever felt overwhelmed make sure you leave a comment and let's talk about it you know we live in at a time right now that so many things can cause us to feel overwhelmed and stressed out so today I want to run through a few tips that will help us when we feel that overwhelmingness coming over us, that anxiety, like, what am I going to do? I can't take it anymore. It's too much. So let's run down through these tips. The first thing that I want you to do is change how you're thinking. What am I talking about? Your thoughts towards your approach to whatever is causing you to be overwhelmed. Oftentimes, the first thing that happens to all of us, and many of us have been guilty of it, is we first think of it in a negative aspect. Oh my God, how am I gonna get this done? This is too much. I am so stressed out. These are some of the things we hear often. Or I'm so angry, I'm, I'm gonna fail at this. So the first thing, that we have to do is change our wording and perception about it. Instead of seeing it in a negative way, change it to a positive way. Like, you know what? It's a lot to be done, but guess what? I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna set priorities or speak life into it. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna set a plan. Just change the thoughts and how you see it. Anytime you approach a situation perceiving it as negative, what do you expect to come out of it? Negative. But if you approach it and perceive it as something positive, you're drawing that energy of positivity to you. It's going to happen. I'm going to be successful. Now there's things that's going to happen and it has to take place, but you're thinking. I often say this on my podcast, your attitude will affect your altitude. And in this way, you have to change negative thinking and replace it with positive thoughts about yourself and about the task at hand. So what's the next one? Take a break. Sometimes we can be so busy in the minutia, and I'm gonna say the word minutia because this is a friendly station, that we need to get out of it for a minute. We need to move away from it so that we can get clarity. We can regain our vision. We can reprioritize and kind of relax a little bit. You know, writers sometimes get writer's block. So sometimes they have to stop and get away from where they're writing so that they can renew their creativity in their storyline. So it is with us sometimes. When you are constantly grinding and trying to get something done and get something accomplished, sometimes you just need to just take a break. Do something totally different. Take some me time or do something fun and just relax. Maybe just go to sleep and rest and take a shower. And then the next day, you know what? You may say, you know what? I feel better. Or guess what? I have another idea how to approach this. Something new and renewed and new energy comes from that. So don't be afraid to set it down for a little bit. I'm not saying get rid of it, but set it down, take a pause and come back to it. And you're going to feel so much better. Here's another tip. We have to learn how to prioritize. Today, everybody want everything now. It is not Burger King. Have it your way. Sometimes we just have to prioritize what is important. 
And don't also be afraid to ask for help. Sometimes we get prideful, we embarrassed, or we don't want anybody to know we need help. We think somebody's going to ridicule us. But ask for help. Maybe somebody has an idea that could help you. A better way to get what you need to get done. Seek out resources. And if you've done all of that and you still feel overwhelmed, then you have to prioritize what is most important because it all can't be done today. Do those things that are immediate, that needs to be done, that then take the next day to do something and make yourself a list or goals where you're gonna accomplish certain things. So this week, I'm gonna accomplish this. Next week, I'm gonna accomplish that. Set deadlines and targets so you can hold yourself accountable. But don't underestimate asking for help as well. Now here's your final tip for today. And what is it? Relax and deep breathe. Soak it in. Embrace mindful meditation and deep breathing. It can do a world of good, not only for your soul, but for your body. Something as simple as this, watch, just. Breathe it in. Can immediately do wonders with bringing down that initial anxiety and stress that you might be feeling. Okay, family, as we're closing today, remember when you are feeling overwhelmed and stressed out, there are four tips that you wanna keep in mind. The first one is change your thinking, prioritize, take some me time, and deep breathe. As always, we thank you for tuning in to Living Your Life Without Limits, a show about motivation, inspiration, and elevation. And remember, as always, family, to love yourself. Take care of yourself, because guess what? You are absolutely worth it. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Log on and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay connected, and remember, we're just getting started. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week.